4G trail cameras keep getting better and better, but they all depend on reliable SIM cards with data plans and good coverage to deliver the promise of their impressive features right to your smartphone. Whether it be megafauna, owls taking a bath, or security of a remote location, the price of a data plan is one deciding factor, but low price won't do you much good if you don't get good network coverage. When it's time to reload your current SIM card or start with a new SIM card, you should take a look at EIoT Club. I'm going to do a detailed tutorial of how to install an EIoT SIM card in a trail camera in a bit, but first I'll cover a few basics. EIoT combines price and excellent coverage through a variety of plans. In the US there are double network SIM cards which use AT&T and T-Mobile, and triple play network SIM cards which use Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. You save some money with a double network, and that may well work fine if you're using a 4G trail camera in an area with good coverage of AT&T and T-Mobile. But I personally need to triple play three networks, which includes Verizon, to get the best coverage. You simply enter your SIM card number into the web page to register and select plans and track your usage. Or you can use the EIoT app on your smartphone and scan the numbers of your cards in to easily track and manage your cards and select plans. I've had two 4G trail cams out in the backyard for about uh, four or five months. One of them, the TC20, using the EIoT Club uh, SIM card, and the other, the TC14, using a SIM Hero uh, SIM card that uh, came with it that I've been using for a while. And they're both pretty much in the same location. The SIM Hero on the bottom is running at about a 53% signal, while the EIoT Triple Play card is running at 79%. That's about a 26% difference in the signal, but generally I've seen on, on average around 30% improvement in the signal. I think the triple play aspect of having three networks and picking the strongest network really makes a difference. My experience so far is that the EIoT club with the triple play delivers consistently stronger signal. I'm in the process of upgrading my two pan, tilt, and zoom security slash trail cameras to the EIoT club network from the uh, cars that came with it. And I've already upgraded the uh, TC-18, and it was real simple, it just took a few minutes. So I'm going to set the TC-18 over on the deck looking out at the view here. And I'm going to go through the process of uh, setting up a brand new EIoT uh, triple play uh, data SIM card in the TC-17 pan, tilt, and zoom uh, trail camera. And both of these cameras are really, really nice cameras. And, uh, you know, as I said earlier, you know, a 4G trail cam is only as good as the data plan that supports it. So we're going to go ahead and open the EIoT Club triple play. Just cut the top of it off. And what you get is a credit card size card with the uh, SIM card in the middle. And this SIM card is uh, compatible with all different kinds of SIM cards. Now most 4G trail cams, including the one that I'm using, uses the smallest size of the SIM card. So you carefully pull it out and that's your SIM card. And this will be ready to go with a preloaded with 100 megabytes of uh, test data so that you can use it to try out your camera and get it set up and uh, see how it works. Now these are tiny little things so you want to be careful with them. We'll set that over there for now. And we'll go to the TC-17, which we're going to swap out. First thing you want to do with most trail cameras like this, which has a solar panel that powers it and it has an onboard lithium battery, is charge the battery uh, for, you know, something something on the order of 8 to 10 hours. Make sure you got 100% charge on the battery before you load it up with a new system. And you have the power off. And this TC-17, which is fairly similar to most 4G trail cameras as far as function, you have a place here for a micro SD card. And you always want to put a micro SD card on there because that's your backup. Even though you won't be able to get it on your phone, you'll know that you have the data saved there for posterity. And sometimes that can avoid you can avoid having to use cloud storage when you do that and just see what data is on your phone. And then this one has a reset switch, which is important for loading a new card. And then the SIM card. This is the old SIM card here. So you very carefully remove the existing SIM card. It usually requires using your fingernail to a little push on it. Or you can use one of the little tools that come with your, uh, like they come with your smartphone. I generally take them out with tweezers, just for simplicity. And notice the orientation of the card when you bring it out. And you want to put it back in the same way as it came out. That's real important, just to make sure you get the SIM card in there 
It'll use only lock in place one way, but you don't want to try and force it. So you just uh, are going to put in the new EIOT club card just the way the old one is. And you want to carefully put it in there and lock it down. And I usually kind of keep my hand over it when I'm locking it down because on some of my trail cameras where I use micro SD cards or some of these other SIM cards, if you slip and it's spring loaded, it'll go flying and you might lose it. So there you go. You've got your SD card going. you got the new EIOT triple play SIM card loaded. As simple as that. And you seal it back up. And on this camera, you power it on right there. So while the uh, TC-17 is uh, powering on, you go to your app. And this is the uh, TC-17 that was uh, in this app with the previous uh, SIM card. So what you want to do is you want to go in here and delete that device because you're going to add it new again with the uh, new SIM card. So we've deleted it now. And in the meantime, the uh, TC-17, and in the minute it took me to get the app load and everything, it's connected with the network and we've got a solid blue light. So we're gonna go ahead and add this now. Add a device. And we're gonna say set up 4G device. Insert the SIM card, install the camera, install the antenna, then power on the device. The blue LED will light up after about one minute. Click next. So we have our blue LED already lit because it's been more than a minute. We go to next. Scan the QR code on the camera to connect to your phone. And every 4G camera comes with a QR code that you just scan into the app. And it tells me that it's already been used. So what you want to do is just push the reset button here system reset and the system resets so we've reset the system we got our solid blue light again so we'll go back to the app and just say next scan the QR code on the camera to connect to your phone and we'll scan, scan it real quick And it's connecting to the device. Basically, it's binding. Enter the camera name and address. Using default name and address can go to the next step directly. I'm just going to call it the uh, TC-17. Camera installed successfully. Fully charged the camera at first use. And it's already fully charged, so there we go. And just that fast, in real time, it was connected to the network. Now I'll move it over next to the other camera. Actually, I'll point it at Mr. Possum here. Yes. We'll point it at Mr. Possum. And there's Mr. Possum. That's how fast it works. Now, this camera is meant to be mounted like that, so that's why Mr. Possum looks upside down. And now I'll go uh, set the camera over on the uh, deck next to the other camera. So here we have the TC-18 pan, tilt, and zoom trail camera that I just upgraded with the EIOT SIM card a few minutes ago, and then we have the TC-17 that I just upgraded in real time in just a few minutes and have them up on the deck looking out at the view there. And they're working fine. And of course you just uh, click on one. And there's the view in real time. And of course this is where you can interact with it. And of course that's what you need a good data plan to be able to take advantage of all the powerful uh, features that these cameras have. And the TC-18. And they're both showing reliably uh, three to four bars. Signal is fine. Traditional 4G cameras like these two that don't have all the capabilities of the pan, tilt, and zoom, which also have the higher resolution, you can zoom in and out. But now the pan, tilt, and zoom cameras will, if you interact with them a lot and get a lot of high quality data, will use up you know a lot of data. So that's what's nice about having the EIOT Club with a variety of choices as far as plans for your data needs. So in summary, I've been quite happy with the EIOT Club SIM cards and data plans from my remote 4G trail cameras. 
They're easy to install and you can get your camera up and running in about three or four minutes. I use the Triple Play SIM card for the best reliable network coverage. If your cameras are in an area with great coverage, you may well get by with the more affordable double network plans. I'm using my Pan, Tilt, and Zoom Live View Trail cameras for wildlife and security, so I like the 24 gigabyte 360 day plan for them. But check out all the plans on the EIoT website for ones that may suit your needs. They have 360, 180, and 30 day plans of varying data usage. If you know you're going to have a pretty low trigger rate or traffic area, then a lower budget plan for mostly pictures may well be fine. Remember, you can control data usage to a large degree by setting the size of photos and videos and video length sent and how often they are sent in your trail cameras menu. And those settings can be changed as needed depending on the situation at hand. If you're covering a high traffic area and the cost is not so much your primary concern as is reliably seeing what's going on in high resolution video, there's a plan for that, and that's where the three networks can really help. And if you need to recharge or change your plan once the data is used up, it's easy to do online and it takes place immediately.